Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be making a Spider Knox uh, Deluxe Tinker with an added saw layer. So we're going to be using these darkened titanium scales. Um, here's our Spider Cub Bird. It's a Robin 2. And the liners are going to be orange G10. All right, so I have amassed a, a stock of parts from the Swiss Army knives I've disassembled. And so usually I start by disassembling a knife Whereas in this case, I'll just begin by removing the parts I need from this stock of knives I already have. Parts that I already have. All right, so we need a small blade. We're gonna need the spring for that. I'm not gonna grab the large blade because we'll be using the Spyderco bird for that. All right, and we're going to be using a saw. And here's its spring. All right, then we have the scissors. And it's spring. We have a universal hook that goes behind that. We need to grab the pliers. And it's spring. All right, then the last layer is going to be the bottle opener and uh, the can opener. All right, so here's a bottle opener. And a can opener. Then on the back of that, we need the awl. All right, so there are our parts for our um, for the deluxe tinker with the added saw layer. All right, then next we're going to need this Spyderco bird. So we'll take this apart. There we go. We have the large blade. All right, next thing we're going to do is just need to clean these up and uh, get on prepared for the next stage. So, I have finished up with the Spyderco blade, and so I have reshaped it so it's going to match and fit into the Victorinox. And also, I prepared the G10 liners, so they are ready. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol, and degrease the parts. And after we degrease the parts, then Take some fingernail polish, we'll paint around the pivoting points. That way after acid etching, it doesn't um, it basically if you don't if you don't um, paint along the pivoting point, then after you acid etch it, it'll be very coarse and it won't sm uh, close smoothly. Degreasing helps the uh, acid etching process to be more uniform, you know so you don't have any, like any fingerprints or any other unwanted marks in the, the dark finish.
All right, so I finished the acid etching and the aluminum wash. And so this is what our finish looks like. So that's the Spyderco blade. Here's the original Victorinox small blade. And I have made the edge serrated. All right, so we're ready to begin assembly. So we have orange G10 liners. All the tools have been acid etched and aluminum washed. These are titanium scales that I have flamed black. And you also see the, the stone washing on it. All right, so here's the tools. It's a Spyderco blade. I'll show you the sharpness real quick. All right, then next to it we have serrated edge small blade. I added those serrations. All right, and here we have the saw. All right. We have the scissors right here. Now I added the scissors here um, because the Spyderco blade tends to get in the way of opening tools um, and so the the saw and the pliers both open from this side and so the Spyderco blade does not get in the way whereas if you have to get a hold of it with the the fingernail little cutout right there then it's difficult if you if it's close to the Spyderco blade you can't you can't access it and so that's why I put the scissors here so they're nice and accessible In the back we have the Phillips universal hook and the awl. All right, so that's it for this for this build. So let me know what you think and be sure to check out my website to see some more of my work. Thanks for watching.